So we've got a uh, clam six pack with the bottom where the bottom poles go in. Uh, we've got holes. So I'm going to uh, attempt to close those up with uh, some leather. We've got one that the hole is already through and another that it's almost going through. So we're going to try and fix those. Okay, first thing I did is I cut some leather pieces to go over the pockets. You can see here's one just going around the pocket and another one around the pocket over here. I used uh, Gorilla uh, contact adhesive clear grip. Uh, not I'm going to sew it, but I wanted to have a little extra bond there and just kind of help hold things in place while I sew it. So we'll let that cure a little bit and then we'll get to sewing it. Okay, so I've started to stitch the front here. I'm using a uh, speedy stitcher sewing awl. Seems to work pretty good. Um, the seams are pretty tough to go through, but I'm making a line here. Um, I won't show you how to use this tool. It's pretty handy for repairs for canvas and, and heavy fabric like these clam uh, portables. But um, a lot of videos on the internet show you how to use them. So I'll continue on here and uh, see how it goes. Okay, I've got uh, one stitch around the edge there. I put the other shaft in again to help, you know, kind of hold everything together. Separating a little bit here, not a big deal, because uh, I'm going to stitch that. But I should have started up here, not sure why I didn't. should have started here and come around. But uh, I'll start uh, maybe down here and come back up, kind of like I did over here. I went up this way. So I'll get that. But the shafts are in. I just want to make sure everything stays in place and I don't close anything up too tight. Okay, I had to pull some stitches out here. You can see I, I stitched along this edge here, but when you flip over on the back side here, you can, hopefully you can see it, you can kind of see where I went down the line here, but I grabbed this fabric over here too, and this is part of unfolding it, so you can't, you can't grab that. So I had to pull that out, and we're gonna start over down that middle. Okay, so that stitch went better. You can see I'm all the way down. I didn't go all the way to the top. It's really thick here on the fabric, but it's glued down really hard. This isn't, this hasn't moved at all. So I just came down here, and then you can see on the back side where I followed more right along the seam instead of catching this fabric over here. That's going to be important not to catch that fabric because when you try and pop this thing open, it's not going to open up on you. Okay, so I got stitches up both sides here now. I mean, they're not perfect, but the glue that I used really holds these things down well too. So I think the, the glue might be good enough, but this is just kind of extra insurance. I'm gonna run uh, some glue over the threads now and let that set up overnight. Um, just to kind of a little extra insurance to keep it in place. And then I'll set it up tomorrow. Um, you can see the back here. Not, not pretty, but it gets the job done, and it's not binding on any of the of the fabric. It's following the current seams, so it should come out good. <laughs> 